let me, as usual, use the wonders of Zoom to share a screen. If I read this article out to you, the first few lines, parents of sudden death children let down by NHS, and then scroll down to the parents, Gavin and Jody, two-year-old son, Addy, died unexpectedly in November 2022. And then read a little bit of it. The NHS is failing some patients whose children die unexpectedly, a leading pediatrician has told BBC Panorama. About 50 children's deaths in the UK every day are termed as sudden every year, sorry, are termed as sudden unexplained death in childhood. So deck little is known about what causes them. Some bereaved families get none of the support they're entitled to, setting them up for a lifetime of misery, says Dr. Joanna Garstang. Now, what is the first thing you would think of reading that? I would suspect most people would feel sympathy for parents who had lost a kid. This syndrome is um, it's what used to be called sudden cot death um, and has now been renamed this uh, with a plethora of acronyms that grow every day. Um, but leaving that aside, that's the first thing that would strike me. I'd feel great sympathy for parents in that situation. However, over on Mr. Simon's web's channels, he has repurposed this article to start having what I can only say is the most truly bonkers go at the idea of black and white couples. This has resulted in the most incredibly vile wave of comments about interracial comments spiralling up the screen underneath that with people talking about mud sharking, race mixing and all sorts of other incredible nonsense all based on an article involving the death of a child i'm going to give mr webber a big round of applause for outdoing himself being for a, for being and i'm going to swear on here for once i don't normally i think it's crass, crass and childish but mr whip you have truly managed to be a complete fuckwit with that, you have repurposed the death of a two-year-old and an article over it to preach about miscegenation and racism. Now, since you dragged out poor old Gavin and Jody's misery into the light, I don't feel bad about sharing this article, but I would have normally. And even then, I feel like I'm engaging in a battle line by doing it and using their case in a way that doesn't even feel uncomfortable for me. But... The idea of dragging out this case and using it in that way to do that. It's like, give yourself a special pat on the back, Mr. Webb, for managing to sink into a toilet bowl and um, uh, like literally dive under the detritus in there and get down in the soil.